So, where have we reached so far uh, from the beginning of aviation till date? Okay. So, you can see this information has come from Boeing. Uh, the Boeing 747-100 was launched somewhere in the mid 60s and the productivity as measured in passenger miles per gallon was approximately 60. You can see that there is a 50 percent improvement in the productivity in about 1995 in the introduction of Boeing 747-400. So, with every version, with every version of uh, uh, the aircraft, there has been a consistent improvement in the productivity. Let us see how this compares with a typical force passenger automobile at 24 miles per gallon, the productivity of that is actually far, far lower. So, if you want to have an idea about uh, these novel configurations why they are provided, what their benefits are. There are uh, some good textbooks which uh, are recommended. Uh, the book by Darrell Stinton on the anatomy of the airplane is uh, a good book for information. Designed for air combat by Ray Whitford, it is also a very good book and actually the book has a much larger focus than the title. Uh, Ramos textbook uh, has uh, two chapters which are dedicated to configuration layout and also on unique aircraft concepts. And then uh, Jan Roscom has uh, a series of books on aircraft design, chapter 3 has uh, one section 3.3 on unusual configurations in particular. Okay. Uh, some closing notes, you might see many configurations which are very unique and so you might think that all has already been investigated, but no there is still enough room for dreamers. Okay. Remember <coughs> there is a time and place for everything and if you can somehow justify what you are uh, providing as a configuration, you can have it. Thanks for your attention, we will now move to the next section.